feel so awful dragging everyone else into this. There's Jesse and, and Aiden, Liza. Now Angie's roped in. We're all working together to punish the right person. When Emma wakes up, she'll tell Ryan everything and it's over. You make it sound so easy. It's not easy, but we'll get it done. First thing, we got to get you out of here. And you double back into her cell. Yeah. Bad news. Handles look alike once out. But too bad. She's got work to do. Look, I have tried to reason with her. I have promised her more money, but she she's refusing to go back to prison. Lock her in. I'm on my way. Well. Hey. Hi. So, how is Kendall? She's much better. I'm gonna take this little guy home. Yeah, it's 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 confusing. And I mean, you know, his mom's here and then she's gone. It's just it's it's hard for both of them. Hey, hey do you uh, need a hand with anything back at the house? I'll let you know if I do. <clears throat> Come on, give me a guy. Okay, you know what, Jesse? I'm gonna go in and see Kendall now. Sorry. Tells me you're feeling much better. I am. This is me you're talking to, Kendall. Why did you send your husband home with your son? Angie said that I need to rest. This is a precious opportunity for you to spend time with your family. You've barely had any contact for months. Mom, Zach and I talk as often as we can. Till recently, I was under the impression that you wouldn't want to speak to anyone. So you're telling me that just a, a few conversations on the phone with Zach and everything's fine? We've made progress. How we did it is private. And honestly, I don't, I, I don't understand why... You said you didn't even want it, any part in my personal life, so why are you grilling me? I mean, what exactly are you accusing me of? I'm not really sure. But I know you, and I know that something is off. Well, you're... You're just not used to me feeling confident in my relationship with Zach, that's all. I've been so jealous of Liza and, and so paranoid from being alone. But I'm not anymore. I know Zach loves me. I'm secure in that now. What do you know about Liza? Well, not much. I, I know I watched her at the, the dance marathon from prison and that wasn't very fun, watching them slobber all over each other but i knew it was all part of the plan to to bust annie liza's on my side and zach and i are good no actually zach and i are great all right that's all that matters then okay then i'll let you rest well, hey, mom wait you, uh, you've been asking so much about me, but we, we haven't talked about you, your personal life. So what's going on between you and Ryan? Well, you saw Ryan and me on TV at the dance marathon from, from prison. Isn't that what you said? So you know, he was my dance partner. Encouragement, uh, confidence, that's, that's what Ryan gives me. Uh, it wasn't easy for me to leave New Beginnings, believe me. But Ryan assured me that my instincts were right, that I did have more important work to do. And when I came back from Africa, he said he noticed a change in me for the better. And, and he encouraged me to go for it and, and to follow my passion. I'm sure this doesn't make any sense to you. No, actually, it makes perfect sense. But if you would care to elaborate... No, I don't. Nothing more to say. Okay. Well, you... You needed someone to lean on. I remember how hard it was for me when you were in prison. Kendall. When are they taking you back? This was a warning. Next time I won't walk away. So I'm done. I don't want you to make a decision now. You just think about it, all right? But just know that whatever I was paying you a week, I will pay you every day. That's big money.
if I go back, I won't last more than a couple hours. Just rest. Sit down. Take it easy. These are the pills I gave me for Kendall. Take some. Relax, all right? We'll talk later. That's pretty bad, huh? It's as bad as it gets. Beak? Zach, we don't have that kind of time. If we don't get her back to the prison soon, then your wife is going to be there instead, and then this whole thing is through. We have got to get Kendall out of that hospital soon before somebody looks under that bandage who's not Angie. I know. Haywood's already asking questions. Oh. Okay. All right, so... What exactly are we going to be doing now? I'm not sure. She's not going for the big money. I say we push her a little harder. Come on. She, she'll, she'll give in. Yeah, she will. Then she'll stay for a while, and then she's going to run. You know why? Because she's scared, and I can't have that. Okay, wait, what, are, what are you doing? Lock her in that room to let her out. Zach. Zach! Ma Angie already... Angie already checked back. Well, that's nothing wrong with checking again. Is that really necessary? You trying to get rid of me, Kendall? No, no, it's just that Angie's my doctor. <laughs> How soon they forget. I gave you your new heart, remember? Mm, and what a strong heart it is. Given the trauma you've been through, these numbers just don't seem to add up. Well, I guess a stab wound wasn't as bad as they first thought. Mm. Still, with a transplant patient, you'd expect to see some infections, some jaundice. Why don't I take a closer look? Wouldn't want to miss anything. Clear as a bell. Remarkable. Well rested. Rosy complexion. No signs of malnutrition whatsoever. You know, I didn't realize that the state pen was a country club prison. So what happened? Who stabbed you? Some celebrity gone wild? <laughs> I've always been a fast healer. As you know, they tried to, uh... Lock me up for Stuart's murder. I'd be lying if I told you that I wasn't glad they locked you up instead. But, you know, given the fact that I'm looking at you right now, you don't seem like you're suffering very much. Oh, I don't know if you've heard, but things have gone pretty well for me lately. I have a new baby. Amanda's moved into the house with us. And, you know, it's really wonderful to have a family surrounding you. Oh, I'm sure you really miss that, right? And I would bet that you would give up pretty much anything to get back home. Well, I am so glad you're happy. I really am. I can only imagine what you did to get there. You shouldn't be in here. She is a prisoner in care of the state. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Excuse me. I was under the impression she was a patient in my hospital. <sighs> well, then you leave me no choice but to have Kendall released immediately. Under whose authority? Well, as you said, she's a prisoner in care of the state. This is my hospital. And I don't need a prisoner taking up my beds. So I want her back in the prison immediately. The infirmary can take it from there. Candle's double ready to go. There's been a change of plans. What's wrong? Um. Well, last night, change of plans. Uh, a 
not going to be any switch for... Uh, it's over. Plan's not work. What? No. Isn't no, Zach, we, we, had, we had a deal with this woman. She's not going into prison again. And you can't go, because if a doctor examines you in there, they're going to see that there's no stab wound. They're going to figure it out. So I'm going to have to step forward and tell no. the authorities that I... No, no. ...nepped you and I put you... No, no, Zach, no. There was no way in hell I'm letting you do that.